Brian Lee Cranston is an American actor and filmmaker. He is best known for portraying Walter White in the AMC crime drama series Breaking Bad and Hell in the Fox sitcom Malcolm in the Middle. Wikipedia Born, March 7, 1956, age 68 years, Hollywood, Los Angeles, California, United States. Spouse, Robin Dearden, M. 1989, Mickey Middleton, M. 1977, to 1982. Height, 1.79 meters. Children, Taylor Dearden. Parents, Joe Cranston, Peggy Sell. Siblings, Kyle Edward Cranston, Amy Cranston. Brian Lee Cranston was born on March 7, 1956 in Hollywood, California, to Audrey Peggy Sell, a radio actress, and Joe Cranston, an actor and former amateur boxer. His maternal grandparents were German, and his father was of Irish, German, and Austrian Jewish ancestry. He was raised in the Canoga Park neighborhood of Los Angeles, and also stayed with his grandparents, living on their poultry farm in Ukaipa. Cranston's father walked out on the family when Cranston was 11 and they did not see each other again until 11 years later, when Cranston and his brother decide to track down their father. Cranston is known for his roles as Walter White on the AEMC crime drama Breaking Bad, 2008, Hal on the Fox situation comedy Malcolm in the Middle, 2000, and Dr. Tim Whatley on five episodes of the NBC situation comedy Seinfeld, 1989. For his role on Breaking Bad, he won the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor, in a drama series for Times, 2008-2010-2014, including three consecutive wins. After becoming one of the producers during the series' fourth and fifth seasons, he also won the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Drama Series twice. In June 2014, Cranston won the Tony Award for Best Actor in a play for his portrayal of Lyndon B. Johnson in the play, All the Way, on Broadway. He reprised the role of Lyndon Johnson in the television adaptation All the Way, 2016, which earned him widespread praise by critics. For the biographical drama Trumbo, 2015, he earned widespread acclaim and was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actor. Cranston also appeared in several acclaimed films, such as Saving Private Ryan, 1998, Little Miss Sunshine, 2006, Drive, 2011, Argo, 2012, and Godzilla, 2014. In 2019, he starred with Kevin Hart in the box office hit The Upside, 2017. Family Spouses Robin Dearden, July, the 8th, 1989, present, one child. Mikel Louise, Mickey, Middleton, November, the 10th, 1977, April, the 8th, 1982, divorced. Children Taylor Dearden, parents, Peggy Sell, Joe Cranston, relatives, Kyle Edward Cranston, Sibling Trademark Powerful Deep Voice Trivia For his role on Breaking Bad, 2008, he was named one of the eight actors who turned television into art. In the cover story of the New York Times Magazine, September the 11th, 2011, the last name of the first Blue Ranger on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, 1993, was named after him. He did various work as part of the crew, voiceovers, etc., so the Blue Ranger's full name became Billy Cranston. Met his wife, Robin Dearden, on the set of Desperate Monday, 1986. He was playing the villain of the week, and she was his hostage held at gunpoint. His favorite episode of Malcolm, in the middle, 2000, is the first season episode, Roller Skates, 2000. He spent six weeks, before filming, learning how to roller skate. In his younger years, he spent two years traveling around the United States by motorcycle with his brother always grew a beard and mustache during his hiatuses from Malcolm in the Middle, 2000, became an ordained minister, when he was in college as a part-time job, such a huge fan of baseball, that his wife threw him a surprise 40th birthday party at Dodger Stadium, was singled out by frequent Malcolm in the Middle, 2000, director Todd Holland during his Emmy Award speech in 2001, Cranston had been overlooked that year, and Holland proclaimed that he would, stand up here soon, Cranston was subsequently nominated for the first time, the next year, once did voice acting for the English dubbing of Japanese animation, or anime, under the name Lee Stone. When asked what his favorite thing is about his wife Robin Dearden, he replied, she still gets giddy when she sees a firefly. Received an associate degree in police science from Los Angeles Valley College, 
1976. Did not seriously pursue acting until he was in his late to zero, s as his parents, who were both actors, did not want him to follow them into the business, impersonated Brad Garrett's Everybody Loves Raymond, 1996, Loy shortly after losing to him for the second year, in a row at the 2000 for Emmy Awards. The crowd laughed hysterically, as did Garrett himself, saw the face of his daughter Taylor Dearden projected onto Chrysan Ritter in a pivotal scene, on Breaking Bad, 2008, as her character lay dying, which made him cry, but he snapped back into character and the image went away. Has played Eric Per Sullivan's character's father on Malcolm in the Middle, 2000, and wrote recommendation letters for his college applications. He said his acting heroes are Dick Van Dyke, Jack Lemon, Rod Steiger and Spencer Tracy. Has a dog named Sugar, saved from a Los Angeles pound. Is a part owner of the independent theater cinemas Palm Door and Palm Desert, Sia. With his fourth Emmy Award victory for his performance on Breaking Bad, 2008, he tied the record of Dennis Franz, in YPD Blue, 1993, for the most wins in the category outstanding actor in a drama series. Peter Falk also won for Emmys for his lead performances as Columbo, 1971, three of them as outstanding lead actor in a drama series, in 1972, known as outstanding continued performance by an actor in a leading role in a dramatic series, and won as best lead actor in a limited series. Spent part of his youth on a farm with his grandparents in Ukaipa, as his family lost their home in foreclosure. His Trumbo, 2015, co-star Helen Mirren called him one of the greatest American actors. His daughter, Taylor Dearden, studies theater at the University of Southern California, has run in for marathons. At one point, he considered becoming a police officer. Honored as Grand Marshal of the 2006 Sherman Oaks, SIA, Street Fair by the Chamber of Commerce, for his leadership in the community and his protection of children, through Kid Smarts, 2003, produced his Kid Smarts, 2003, Safety video with his Malcolm in the Middle, 2000, crew during one of their weeks off. He won the 2018 Lawrence Olivier Award Award for Best Actor in a Play for his performance in Network at the National Theatre in London. Enjoys playing the drums and traveling to Hawaii. Interviewed in 2015, he named On the Waterfront, 1954, as his favorite movie. Attended and graduated from Canoga Park High School in Canoga Park, CO, 1974. Asked by The Hollywood Reporter's Matt Belloni, which one of his movies he would most like to have deleted from his IMB filmography, Brian was quick to nominate Amazon Women on the Moon, 1987. He starred in three movies that were nominated for the Best Picture Oscar, Saving Private Ryan, 1998, Little Miss Sunshine, 2006, and Argo, 2012. Of those, Argo, 2012 was a winner in the category. He called Mark Rylance a major influence. Both actors won Tony Awards in 2014, Cranston for Best Actor in a Play for All the Way and Rylance for Best Featured Actor in a Play for his performance in Twelfth Night. One of Cranston's competitors for the award was Rylance for his performance in Richard III. His paternal grandfather, Edward B. Cranston, was of Irish ancestry, partly by way of Canada. Montreal. His paternal grandmother, Alice Rose Bauer, was of half Austrian Jewish and half German descent. His maternal grandparents, Otto Frederick William Sell and Augusta Lisa Marchert, were both German emigrants, Otto from Rendsburg and Augusta from Danzig. Both Cranston in his Breaking Bad, 2008, co-star Jonathan Banks played the role of James Gordon in the Batman franchise, the first voiced the character in the animated feature Batman, Year One, 2011 while the second did it in the video games Batman, Arkham Knight, 2015, and Batman. Got his start at the Granada Theater in the San Fernando Valley, Sia, is the second of three children of Joe Cranston and Audrey Peggy Sell, who both acted. Younger brother of Kyle Edward Cranston has one daughter with Robin Dearden, Taylor Dearden, in the original Armitage III, Poly Matrix, 1996, episode home video version, also known as O of E, he was listed as, Lee Stone. However, in the movie edition of the same name, he was listed under his real name. Presented the category, Outstanding Directing for a Comedy Series, at the 2000 for Emmy Awards, with his Malcolm in the Middle, 2000, co-star Jane Kitchmarek. Was roommates with Javier Graeta early in their careers? He won the 2017 Critics Circle Theatre Award for Best Actor, 
for his performance in Network at the National Theatre in London. He was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for television at 1717 Vine Street in Hollywood, California on July 16, 2013. Began his acting career appearing in commercials for Preparation H, Shield Deodorant and Coffee Mate. He has appeared in one film that has been selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress as being, culturally, historically or aesthetically, significant, saving Private Ryan, 1998. Born at 10.52 a.m., PST. He is a second cousin, once removed, of actress Ariel Kebel. Brian's maternal great-grandparents, Joseph Marchert and Helene Magdalene Kebel, were also Ariel's paternal great-great-grandparents. The two also share more distant ancestry through Ariel's direct patrilineal line of Clan Cranston. Quotes, I've got a whole mantle just waiting for those awards to come. A whole big mantle. There's just so much available space. I've got the light fixtures hanging from the ceiling, all ready to shine on them. I dust it off every day. The only thing I say a prayer for is for health and safety for my family. Some people even include happiness and a hope for something else. Not me. I think everything else is on your own. That's the way I look at it. If you can just maintain health and safety, you're in good shape. And anything else, you have to create. My wife, Robin Dearden, is the cook, really. I'm a good helper and I clean like nobody's business. I can load a dishwasher like nobody else. I don't want to say it's not important to win an Emmy because it is. Would it be important to me, personally to win? It would be wonderful. I would be delighted. Is it important for an actor's career? I would say yes. You know, this business is pure luck. It truly is. There is a tangible amount of luck that is necessary for a successful career. And the only way that luck happens is if you're prepared for it, and you stick with it. If you drop out of the scene, your opportunity for luck diminishes greatly. No one's going to say, hey you're an insurance salesman, come and do this movie. I think the best written films, or television series have a measure of the opposite of what they are. We have some darkly comic moments sprinkled throughout Breaking Bad, 2008, as we had some sweet sentiment, or serious drama sprinkled throughout Malcolm in the Middle, 2000. I think any good movie does that, any good play, you have to break it up. You can't have one train going in one direction all the time. Audiences are more sophisticated than that. I love playing pompous asses. I think I would like that on my tombstone. He was the definitive pompous ass. I love playing the know-it-all guy, who is also kind of stupid. That guy who thinks he's great, but he's not. That's a wonderful character to play, kind of the Barney Fife type. He'll tell you what's going on, but inside he's very insecure. That's always a fun character, and I loved. For pure fun and enjoyment, my character Hal on, Malcolm in the Middle, 2000. Because I found his emotional core, and once I found that, I could leap off from that and the writer started to write for it and that core was fear. Hal was afraid of everything, every single thing. He was afraid of heights. He was afraid of failing as a father. He was afraid of getting fired. Someone would walk into the room and surprise him, and he'd yelp, because he was afraid of noise, afraid of a lot of things. That lent itself to a lot of humor, but it was also a true emotion that you could lock in on. I don't even think about the money when I consider roles. I turn it over to my agency. Money will come. I respect it, but I don't thirst for it. I wish Americans thought more like Europeans, when it comes to money and work. They take time off, they do what they love. We think work is the most valued commodity. Really, the most valued commodity is time. I don't really relax. When I sleep I relax. I don't have hobbies, I don't collect things. I enjoy creating. Stars have much more power. I'm the star of my show Breaking Bad, 2008, and I have the power to try to sway opinions. Absolutely. And that's the reason you want to become a star as an actor, to be able to have more control of your destiny. Actors basically are the type of person that with three seconds left, we want the ball. Give us the shot to make it or miss it. We'll take the lumps if we miss it, but we want the chance to get the glory. An acting coach of mine, Shirley Knight, a great actress, said that it's the actor's arrogance. We want the chance. Give it to me. We know plenty of people in life, back in Little League or whatever, who'd say, oh, Please don't hit it to me. Please don't hit it to me. Oh dear God, please don't make me have to make this decision. Please don't make me get on stage. There are those people, and then there are those of us that say, give me the shot. Let me take it. 2011. On spending two years riding motorcycles around the United States with his brother when he was younger, it was just to confuse boys running away. My brother was on the verge of becoming a deputy sheriff, and I was grappling with whether I wanted to be a police officer or an actor. So we got on our motorcycles and just left California with no plan. I had $70 in my pocket 
and that soon ran out. We got odd jobs wherever we could. We worked at cafes, in carnivals, at beachfront hotels selling suntan lotion, earning just enough to get back on the road. We camped everywhere. The cheaper the better. Just a patch of grass was all we needed. A few times we stayed at midnight missions, in Texas and Louisiana, and those were always scary. They were like prison. First of all, they take all your clothes, because they don't want you to leave before the sermon. You're standing naked with all these alcoholics, getting a cold shower with a bar of soap the size of a quarter. Then you're given a blanket and a bunk, and you try to get some sleep in a room full of people, with the worst gas in the world. All night they're farting and belching and coughing up blood. The next morning, you get your clothes back, but they all smell like booze and sheet. And then you listen to proselytizing while choking back Melba toast and canned orange juice. Honestly, after sleeping in a mission, I bet prison would be a breeze. 2011. On getting into acting, when I was 16 I joined the lapped, Los Angeles police dept, explorers in the West Valley. Then I went to L.L. Valley College to study police science, and my counselor told me I needed to take some elective courses. Salary, Breaking Bad, 2008. $225,000 per episode.